Generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I'm bringing you a quick condensed video regarding the latest new and exciting thing. Some of you may know about Feed the Beast. It is a set of uber mod packs, most of which contain dozens or hundreds of mods each. The pack in question is the current big boy among them, the Monster Pack. It contains over 175 game-changing mods and is an amazing experience. And we of OmniSlabs have decided to start a new server running this pack. First off, this is not replacing vanilla OmniSlabs. That's not going away, although it's down temporarily at the moment while we figure out some technical issues with the world. This, rather, is an additional project that we're starting, which will also not include exclusively OmniSlabs members. We will have a handful of others joining us as well. However, more on that later. Right now, I'd like to talk about what exactly it is we plan to do here. Oh, and if anything I mention goes over your head, and if you don't know the mods in question that well, don't panic. I'll do my best to explain anything all too crucial in time. The first part is pretty standard and straightforward. We will be working together on the server, all of us, toward three main goals. For one, we will work to defeat the Ender Dragon. Also, we'll be working with the Mistcraft mod to gather the symbols that we'll need to use it later. Then, finally, we will be establishing infrastructure in the form of paths, structures, and anything else we want to have, in the Overworld, Nether, and End, as well as in the Twilight Forest or any public Mistcraft ages, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Once we've taken care of these three tasks to our satisfaction, we will progress to the next step. This is where it gets interesting. We will randomly split ourselves into two separate teams, Team Scylla and Team Charybdis. This is where I go off on a brief tangent about the team names we've gone with. To give some background, Scylla and Charybdis come from ancient Greek myth, where they were terrible sea monsters, a hydra, or more likely actually a rocky shoal, and a more ambiguous whirlpool sort of deal, respectively. The thing was that sailing between the two was difficult if not impossible, and navigating required choosing the lesser of two dangers to risk. Scylla and Charybdis now have an idiomatic meaning not unlike between a rock and a hard place. In this context, however, they are just interestingly named enigmatic opposing forces without incredibly strong pre-existing connotations. And what they stand for, good, evil, chaotic, lawful, magical, technical, corporate-minded, environmentally conscious, and so forth, will be shaped as time goes on by the teams they come to represent and the players on those teams. Once we have our teams, we will write two Mistcraft Ages, which are highly customizable new dimensions you can create by writing books describing them. Uh, there will be one for each team tailored to that team's preferences and vision. These and any private ages players write will become the territories of the two teams, while the Overworld, Nether, End, Twilight Forest, and any public ages or other dimensions I've missed will be neutral. The teams will then be free to build what they will in neutral areas and their own territory, defend their world or worlds in whatever way they see fit, and maintain whatever relationship they wish with each other, whether that ends up being openly hostile or predominantly peaceful. Most of the rules will be established as we go, depending on how we end up interacting. For example, if we end up in an all-out war, we may set rules for PvP, not allowing jetpacks or similar along those lines, in order to keep things fair and fun for all. These would be unnecessary, however, if PvP is rare or more casual. Many such rules will likely be honorable agreements which, if broken, will show the dishonor in the hearts of those who break them. However, there will be some rules established beforehand. To mitigate lag, everyone involved will be asked to keep their projects to a reasonable scale which will not bog down the server unnecessarily. Also, each team will be allowed exactly one chunk loader, and no more, to be used however they choose. It's been brought to my attention that certain other machines load chunks, such as quarries, and these will be allowed as long as they are not abused and they do not cause lag problems on the server. Also, any unreasonably cheaty item duplication will not be allowed, though this will primarily be at each individual's discretion. It will also be against the rules to just act like a jerk. For example, if the other team is all offline and they don't have their defenses up, it would not be acceptable to raid their base without warning, stealing or destroying everything in reach. That's the sort of thing that just wouldn't be fun for anyone. So everyone will be asked to maintain a sense of fair play, respect, and integrity, and all should be well. Without further ado, however, I'd like to introduce those of us who will be involved here. Firstly, there's myself, Richard, then there's the rest of OmniSlabs, Wreckabilly, the Dino Cow, Mr. Economist, CDFD Man, and Perplus. Joining us as well, though, we have Chronohawk, 
of the British Empire, Stickman Ninja of the southernmost Carolina, Funky Express of someplace in Portugal, and Red with a K from America's favorite hat, Canada. You'll be able to find all their channels in the description, and I encourage you to check them out and subscribe to catch all the new content from this project. And look forward to videos and likely more often streams from me in the future. You can find me on Twitch as Richard, as always, or via the link I put in the description. Finally, I will close, taking a moment to remind everyone involved to turn their NEI from cheat mode to recipe mode before accidentally cheating items in, as it is all too easy to do. And wishing all the best to the viewers, as well as my co-conspirators, in this endeavor. May it go as well as I hope it will. Farewell.